So, Master Chloe, hey, we're through, the elections are over, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Um, I, I know you're not a real political commentator. You don't have a yeah. staff with all this research yeah. that you can look at the, the, into the data and the numbers of what happened, mm -hmm. whatever happened. And you're sitting here in the Eastern Cape, which you're not uh, uh, close to any, uh, how you say, modern communication, <laughs> big studio, I don't know, yeah. library, uh, whatever, whatever they got in these other places. But uh, just give me your on grounding. What, you, what are the people saying about the elections? Just here in the Eastern Cape, uh, you know, just whatever you got. Let me get you a little closer. Yeah, yeah, the Eastern Cape people. I'm like, I'm not that satisfied because you see what what happened after the election. Mm -hmm. There was a crisis of war, and there, and then the war just shut. And the people, like, we just voted, and then that's why you 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 are you, you saying things to us and then the, you, you just shut down the water you didn't tell us and it was just drama but people they are not that satisfied until they see see the service delivery so you're saying that as soon as the election was over the, the water got shut just off but, wait, wait, but you're in Dimbaza doesn't yeah. the water come from the mountains that they have stations on the way I don't understand how, how do the, they the, shut the, the thing, water off the thing is this the, the, the water is has been pumped from Sangley dam there's other big dam that that the, the, the water is coming from the mountain and then go to that dam. Mm. So the dam is supplying most of the places on that side. So the, there was a problem. They said there is a problem with the pump, water pump. You see that that, that to suddenly dam is supplying so much places in Timbaza. So all the, the villages water was shut down. Mm. There was no water for the whole villages, including Tibaza. I always thought that you had you you're that close to the mountain. So I thought why don't people just build uh, dig boreholes? I don't understand why you why they even on the system on a municipal system. It sounds suspicious to me. Look, if I wanted to kill all you people in Dimbaza, mm. all I got to do is put something in the water up in the dam or whatever it is, or shut the water up, or, or water you out. Just shut the water off. You don't get no water. That's it. They you see. I don't know why our municipality doesn't have boreholes program because they're supposed to have it. Really? They're supposed to have it because you see now they don't supply tanks, so they're supposed to have a system for boreholes, so that people they will get the water from the ground. Well, who knows this? Who who, who knows this to force the people to do it? You know, who knows it? There are people who who knows it because there's other village. There's a guy who was was drilling from the from the ground since Monday and then yesterday, yesterday we did saw the guy still drilling down the bow to the borehole and then they say the guy is having a PhD of the of the water and sanitary don't don't so it means the guy have all the knowledge about the borehole. So as as I'm going maybe next week I have time I can go and talk with him. Because on the village to the new houses there mm -hmm. he's doing a borehole. Mm -hmm. Well, now of course a borehole goes straight down yeah. to a, to to a water source that that's not controlled by the municipality, yeah. whatever have you. But let me ask you this: you know, you have to, um, whatever twenty whatever years of democracy, yes. blah blah, all this voting. You know, there's people who are alive before, during, after. Mm. I'm, what I'm trying to get from you is again those people are still in the, in the community what are they saying about these 20 years what what are you know some of these, some some people only had only experienced six years of this only, you know because you're young yeah. whatever well what are people saying on the ground people are not that? satisfied on the ground people they said since after after democracy everything has been shut down in timbas our factories have been gone for long and then even now they are promising factories they're going to be ref they refurbished but all the processes are taking their time but when they open these factories, who, uh, are these out, where are these companies from? From other African countries, or are they from? I don't think so, because I think what they are doing, they are oh, they always outsource the the, the the investors. But our country is having money for the for, to develop the country. I don't know why they don't take, they don't train people in here, and then they take because there are people who are doing clothing in, in South Africa. They're the main people of the country and the African countries because they're supposed to take the African countries and the, all the side com the, the, the side companies mm -hmm. that are owned by the African people and put them on those factories. But what they are doing, they're outsourcing from the from the Europe, mm -hmm. from Europe. I don't understand our government. How is our government? Our government doesn't want their own people because if they want their own people, they're supposed to know who got skills. They're supposed to go around and then put the, the communities together and try to find out who can do this, how we can make use of these people in these factories, how we can invest on these communities. 
by their own people, but they don't need that. They only want the, the, the European companies to come in here, and then after they come here, IDZ or IDC, they they give those people funds. I don't know why they don't give their own funds. Mm. You see, our government, they don't they, they don't favor the, the country people. Well, let me ask this. Now, you're, you're, we talked before about yeah. there is a, a youth desk at yeah. the uh, South African Police Services yeah. in Dumbaza, and the youth desk might be also getting another space for themselves, but they'll keep yeah. the youth desk in the police in the station. Police station. Now tell me about the impact of the youth, of, the, of this youth, youth desk. Um, yeah. um, are the people listening? Are the people listening to the youth at the desk? What, what does the youth desk do? Yeah, yeah the, 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 the people are trying to listen to the youth. People are interested. There are, there are people in the police department that are interested. This thing must kick start. They want to see how it goes and they are interested because they are, they, there's a youth that want to work there. And there's a, there are old people that they want to be youth in that youth desk. So they are prolonging things. But now the youth that is in there is sick and tired of those people. And then there are police who, who, who want to work together with that youth that is in there. Mm. People who know how to, to, to work together with the youth, who got the interest to change the community. You mm. see? So now we are, we are still fighting with that, but we are, we, we are pushing. We are pushing for them because. On the other side, there is an event on the 7th and 8th at Ibulembu. Of June. This is of this. June. So we, we're getting into Youth Month here. Youth June, month, June, yeah. June. I call it Youth Month. It's probably 16th of Youth, youth, youth yeah. Day, but it's a whole month they do yeah, youth activities. It's 16th, 16th, 16th and 7th mm -hmm. uh, at Ibulembu. Mm -hmm. There will be a youth prevention campaign there. So the youth will be playing their role. And then on the organizing team, they, they were, there was no youth. There was no youth on the organizing team. They are old people, but we were part of that on the ground. You see, when you're on the ground and when you're on the on the panel there to organize, it's something else. Mm -hmm. Because if the old people that are organizing the the thing is not gonna be the same as the youth is organizing with them. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. they, there's different strategies that they use there, but it's fine. But we, we try to influence the the decisions there. Okay, I hear two things that's happening as far as yeah. inter, what I call intergenerational yeah. things. One, you have the youth desk, whatever happened, where, he, where you're saying there's, there's older police people in the police service that see the value of the youth desk, so they're yeah. trying to make it help it work. So you have yeah. the older, experienced police people yeah. where, with the youth, the community people trying to make it work, but then you have all these police in the middle that, that well, they may or may not have agendas that might, may or may not help this work, working relationship. Yeah. Anyway, but you have that happening. Yeah. And then you're saying that there's, a, there's an event that happened, even though the older people organize it, the youth yeah. still had a little say in it, saying and then you're saying that maybe at some other particular point, do you have a bigger saying in, in, yeah. the, in the youth activity yeah. rather than older people? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Organizing the youth activity. Yeah, even even on on five, we got a, the plenary meeting because social development want to engage with us. They want us to 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 work together to for the year seminar, youth seminar. Around June, it's 19, between, between 19 and 18, and 20, June. They want to build a youth seminar to, to develop the, the villages. Mm -hmm. So they want us to work together with them because we are helping them to organize some stuff and organize some departments. Mm -hmm. one, more, one more question, I, I, I want to make this short. Uh, this is a, you may not be able to answer this question. Now, when, I, when, when people say youth, they usually mean uh, to 18 to 35, 35 around here right now. I'm curious, mm -hmm. uh, since y'all, the youth are actually working, this, 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 the designated age for youth are actually age. working, but then again, you know, you always have eight-year-olds or 10-year-olds or 13-year-olds mm -hmm. hanging around seeing what's going on. Uh, what do you see as far as younger you, people, younger people, uh, uh, pre, uh, uh, teenage, pre-teenage people, are they are they being active? Are they, are, are they, are they being excited? Are they coming up with anything? Uh, what I can say, the, the young people, they are the ones who are a, who can able to, to be a part. But you know, as the, they are bounded by school, because most of them, they are in school. Mm -hmm. That's the main problem that, that, that we have. Because it will be hard, it's hard for us to engage them, because most of the time that we are, we are working, it's, it's, it's morning time, mm -hmm. till afternoon. Mm -hmm. So now it's, it's hard for them to engage themselves in. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah, I, I, I understand that. I, I was really just talking about, I, I guess, 
this is I'm talking more of a vibe. You know vibe. what I mean? If, if something is happening in in, in any place, yeah. then other, everybody says, you. What's what's that? What's that? And I'm just asking if the youth is seeing if the, if the younger if the preteens mm. are seeing stuff happen, then all of a sudden then what's going on? What's going on? Like, do you feel anything happening with it? Do you see yeah, it? yeah, because the youth when we are doing something, they're the one they're the most people who who engage, who go and, and attend the stuff. Mm. Because they are in, they, they are interested to, to hear some stuff, they are interested to say some stuff. Mm -hmm. Because they are there in school, but they are interested on stuff that are happening locally. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, thanks for this. Uh, you have anything else? I, I always ask questions. Do you, do you have any um, observations or anything you want to say? Yeah, yeah, I want to say all, to all the youth in South Africa, Africa as a whole, we must try to get up and do stuff by our own. Because if we, we, let, we, we, we wait for the government or wait for the investors to come to our places, to make a change, that thing won't happen. We must wake up and try to do something to make the to make a change in our communities. That's it. I, I got you. I don't want to. That was a powerful statement, but I just because you said something, I want to say it this way. Mm -hmm. If you wait for outsiders to come, or yeah. if you wait for the politicians to apply what they're applying yeah. to, they're applying their solutions. Yeah. We want to know what. Your solutions are. So if, in other words, if you're if you're if you're ten years old, right? Listen to it right now. Yeah. I know this is kind of burden. I don't want to yeah. say it this way, but you should start having some ideas about what what, what, what the future is going to look like because of the yeah. the world that your leaders, so-called leaders, and your and these are uh, predatory capitalists, whatever you want to call them, these people on the outside, their their interest is not the interest it's of something of, else. Uh, they are interested in something else. And they're putting stuff in place to, yeah. to further their interests. Yeah. So what are you putting, the question is, what are you putting in place to? Putting in place. To further your interests. On my interest, what I put in place, I want people to own their businesses and look after their communities.